This is Ren Jesse, part two by A.V. Songbird. <clears throat> if she'd ever run faster in her life, Jessie couldn't remember it as she tore across the seemingly endless field, making for the outcropping of trees in the distance. She might not have known where she was, but she figured any cover was better than none at all. And stealing her jaw, she put on a burst of speed, throwing herself headlong into the grouping of trees and allowing herself to fall back against one of them for a moment as she closed her eyes to allow herself a quiet moment to catch her breath. She was trembling visibly from head to toe as she stood there, desperately adjusting whatever tatters remained of her clothing after he'd managed to catch up with her only moments ago. Whoever he was, it quickly became apparent to her that his reason for attacking her hadn't been the one she'd initially believed it to be, which ironically made her feel better. No, whoever he was, it was clear he wasn't after. Which meant that whoever the hell he was, he was after her for another reason altogether. She'd reasoned somewhere amongst the punches and kicks he'd caught her with before he lifted her onto her feet and shoved her away again to set her running off again so that he could follow. Whatever the hell he was, she reminded herself, feeling various parts of her body that burned still from where his hands had scorched her at the mere touch. She hadn't thought he could have hurt her any more than he already had as he caught up with her the second time. She was wrong. As she sat there, struggling to recover her breath, he'd knelt before her, cupping her head between his hands, and all thought was obliterated as she felt him lift her onto her feet with his grip, his hands burning her more than any fire had ever burned her in her life. Suddenly she felt the same fire dig into not just her flesh, but deeper still into her mind, and bowing her head low between his hands, she screamed from the searing pain of it all, her body aching all over already from everything he'd put her through that night. And then, feeling her knees buckling from the pain, feeling as though she'd black out, she felt him shove her away again, and she let out a breath as she felt the searing pain in her head stop, leaving her feeling drained, exhausted as she stood there, struggling just to stay on her feet before him. Not giving up on me already, are you, Jessie? He asked her quietly, that cruel grin still on his lips as he stood there, his dark eyes hungry as he watched her standing before him in the darkness. Go to hell, she shot back at him, her eyes angry as they clashed with his, and she forced herself to stare him down. How do you know you're not already there? He asked her as he regarded her with his cruel sneer, and she shivered as she somehow got the feeling that there was something off about his voice as he said it. Turning on her heels, she took off running again, with no thought in her mind other than getting as far away as possible, that anywhere had to be better than where she was. That's my girl. He purred wickedly as he watched her head off into the darkness again. That's the end of Run Jesse, Part 2, by A.V. Songbird. Sleep well, guys.